Franklin and the Cookies by Paulette Bourgeois and Brenda Clark Hi, my name is Werner. I've been reading hundreds of books for you. Please subscribe to see them all. And watch until the end where a surprise is waiting for you. Mom can help you there. Thank you. Franklin can tie his shoes. Franklin can count by twos. And Franklin can make really good cookies. Sometimes this is a problem. Sometimes Franklin's cookies are too good. One day Franklin and Bear were playing tag. Oh, said Bear, I'm hungry. Me too, said Franklin. Let's go to my house and make cookies. Good idea, said Bear. Franklin and Bear ran into the kitchen. They got out butter and eggs. They got out sugar and flour. They got out lots and lots of chocolate chips. They measured and stirred and mixed. They plopped spoonfuls of cookie dough on a cookie tray. Franklin's mother put the cookie tray in the oven. Then Franklin and Bear waited and waited. Franklin's mother pulled out the cookie tray. How many cookies do I get? Bear asked. We made one dozen, said Franklin. That's twelve cookies, said Bear. So we each get six. Great, said Franklin. I can eat lots and lots of cookies. Franklin and Bear poured milk and sat down. You have a lot of cookies, said Franklin's mother. Franklin shook his head. I can never have too many cookies, he said. Maybe you can share your cookies with Harriet and Beatrice, said Franklin's mother. But Harriet and Beatrice aren't here, said Franklin. They are at their swimming lesson, said Franklin's mother. And they will be hungry when they get back. Mmm, said Franklin. Mmm, said Bear. Bear looked at his cookies. I have six cookies, he said. That means I have to give three cookies to a Beatrice. And I have to give three cookies to Harriet, said Franklin. Bear made two piles of three cookies. So did Franklin. Bear gobbled up one pile. So did Franklin. Franklin and Bear went outside to play. Soon Franklin said, My sister is too little to eat three cookies. Bear agreed. So is my sister, he said. But I can never have too many cookies, said Franklin. Me neither, said Bear. Mmm, said Franklin. Mmm, said Bear. Franklin and Bear ran inside. They each ate one more cookie. Two cookies are still a lot of cookies, said Bear. Two cookies are almost as many as three cookies, said Franklin. They each ate one more cookie. One cookie each doesn't look like much, said Franklin. One cookie is almost like no cookies, said Bear. They ate the last two cookies. Franklin looked at the cookie plate. Oh, he said. When is the swimming lesson over? Three o'clock, said Bear. Franklin looked at the clock. It was three o'clock. Uh oh, -uh, Franklin said again. But then he had an idea. Franklin and Bear ran into the kitchen. 
They got out butter and eggs. They got out sugar and flour. They got out lots and lots of chocolate chips. They measured and stirred and mixed. They plopped spoonful of cookie dough on a cookie tray. Franklin's father put the cookie tray in the oven. Then they waited. And waited. Ding! went the oven timer. Franklin's father pulled out the cookie tray. You have a lot of cookies, he said. Some are for Harriet and Beatrice, said Franklin. Good, said his father. I'm glad you want to share. Of course, said Franklin. Franklin and Bear looked at the cookies. I still say three cookies are too many for my little sister, said Bear. Harriet could never eat three cookies, said Franklin. Franklin and Bear each ate a cookie. And so... When Harriet and Beatrice got home, all the cookies were gone. Where are our cookies? asked Harriet. But then Franklin had an idea. I'll get my recipe, he said. You and Beatrice can help make the cookies. Franklin's cookie recipe. Beat the egg with the butter. Mix in the flour and sugar. Stir in the chocolate chips. Plop spoonfuls of cookie dough on a cookie tray. Ask an adult to put the tray in the oven. Set the oven timer for 10 minutes. Let cool and enjoy. Ding! went the oven timer. Everyone sat down to eat cookies. I'm glad you are sharing your cookies, Franklin, said his mother. Franklin smiled. Sometimes even I can have too many cookies, he said. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you. Enjoy my new series Oliver and Chumpy. 19 video books with about 500 pictures. There's text, but I also read it aloud for the younger children. I have written 65 stories and had them illustrated at great cost for your children's fun. Oliver is an elegant tomcat and Chumpy is his lady friend. Oliver loves to ride in Chumpy's pouch when they go for adventures together. Please find a link to the first book in the description of this video. Please always subscribe and like if you find my effort interesting. Thank you so much.